Well, thanks for having us on, and um, I think that uh, you know Mike has been, I consider him both a friend and a partner, um, so we've had a great relationship with Cloud here that goes back into, uh, I think it was probably uh, summer of 09, so rather early in that process, uh, and, and we started migrating on to Hadoop in 09, uh, and for an unstructured data play, that was pretty early. Um, so that's a, it's a little tricky from the standpoint of technology that moves beyond counting things that are well structured, to being able to figure what you're measuring. Like what is in unstructured data, who are the entities, who are the people, who are the places. It sort of presumes pattern recognition, it presumes other analytics to even make the building blocks that can't be counted. So that's been a big gap. So that slide was talking about how do you take loose, noisy information, and our pedigree is in the defense space and the intelligence space, how do you take loose, noisy information that's disconnected, unstructured, and then connect it together so that you can then apply analytics to it in a business, you know, valuable way. Um, and so Mike, I think, wanted to show what was possible. He knows about some of our implementations you know, in other places. Well, let's jump so. into that in a second, but back up and tell the folks about Digital Reasoning, the company, uh, what you guys are all about, and, and uh, specifically educate them on, and, and then we'll go into the Hadoop side. Yeah, um, so I, I think that uh, to understand Digital Reasoning is to understand that we wanted to create a way to take human communication and use algorithms to make sense of it without having to have a human design an ontology or design some other structure a priori. And so, basically digital reasoning is a 30-ish uh, person solver company growing quickly right now, um, principally in the defense intelligence area and moving into the markets, financial services, enterprise risk, 